In the Silver Age, men begin not to be so just, nor, consequently, so happy as in the Golden Age. In the Brazen Age, which succeeds, they become yet less virtuous, but their wickedness does not rise to its pitch until the Iron Age, when it makes its appearance in all its deformity. O oh, mud flutters, the stories of the songs of the Stillverse are so numerous. It's the story of how we ended up here in this mud-flooded amnesiac of a pickle, not too far off in time from the lines of Ovid recited above, to the golden arches, symbols of maniacal overlords here in McLan. Uninitiated yet inebriated, our society is the story of the great mechanism of errors, far beyond the conscious mind that sees all that it can see. It ties this mud to the dimming of the light, the weight we feel, daily increased, that time, however fixed to digits on the walls in our mind, has grown elusively quick, our perception receiving less and less information per cycle, picking up moments further and further apart from each other. How many moments did we lose during this catastrophe? What does it mean that beyond my great-great-grandfather of my own family, we know nothing? Yet the elite still retain family crests and know every branch of every tree. While the insulted and humiliated masses have at least one orphan in their family, acting like a galactic axe cutting down the great tree that would be their heredity. And what is misunderstood about these trees? What is missing from those pages of our biology? Well, these are secrets of the Stillverse, only the initiated are welcome to these. But what I can say is that our entire world is in need of an enema, a cleansing of the errors woven trends, an erasing of the illogical sense devised by the artful deception, a redevelopment of our own antiquitech. As everything around you expands, your refusal and inherent residue dooms you to the very small, a space and weight not customary to house a spirit such as man. This subatomic realm mirrors one's visions of hell. This flood leads us into the depths, further into the material, and once in this place, lost all capacity for pleasure. Our infinite existence spent in pain, the very food of the errors that keep us blind. If the theories dispensed by the community of mud, I feel I owe my final reshaping to, have intrigued you, O oh viewer so few, then I beg you to take a leap further into the symbolic halls of a new way of seeing, an initiation into deprogramming what the errors have been programming. A new sense of time, hope, and technique for evil banishing. Wet your beaks, great and youthful Imix. Reset the motion of the greater wheel within the spheres of this wise and humble community. I thank you, mud flutters, for while absorbing your content, Michelle Gibson, John Levi, was I eventually brave enough to ask the right questions. And how clearly you have all shown me how it is all about asking the right question. 
How in debt I am to you for a new way of seeing, lifting the veil, so to speak, always dreaming. A homotakuyas. Hallow you, hallow me. Starforts, never covered in the general curriculum of these United States, vast details of pre- and post-European invasion of the continent have been left out of the spoon-fed story of the occupation. And as my faithful contemporaries are mapping out the alternate, closer to the truth, my story, piecing together the events of the corporeal world known to the Stilvers as Mictlan, I am, on the other hand, through devices and techniques of old Tartaria, weaving together the overlapping stories of the events and dramas of Topan, the name given to the artful, unseen forces that occur in tandem with our cause and effect, influences that previously did not fit will be measured and set. A firm sense of knowing exactly what is happening in the world today can be known. You do not have to be subject to the static verse. The still verse brings back the mythological layer to reality in real time, like a news broadcast of what has transpired above in relation to those who reside below, being far behind in our own mythological history though, a crash course is first due. To have an actual sense of what is important to do below, for those we love above, an account of what has come to pass, and we act out our lives in Miklan. Thanks to the tireless efforts of autodidactic and an open-minded intellectual skepticism, imagination, and faith, a mixture of which the narrative enthusiasts and fundamental materialists really don't seem to want to try, an open-minded pursuit of any kind, Let's reclaim the earth and mind. feeble production quality of the stillverse should let you know that it does not come from some organized, malicious, underground think tank, but from a pure and loving foundry from the depths of the earth's good will, good words, and good mind.